And uh, you know, while we're on this topic, uh, the reason we're here also because uh, we we wanted to talk about this, you know, this mentality, this you know, the mentality that you know rich people have versus the 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 poor. <laughs> the not the rich people, the yeah, rich the people versus not the rich people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Like, like I said, uh, I, I've been changing my mindset, you know, and 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 my life, my life has changed. Like, uh, before I, w- I wouldn't save my money, and like I would just get into debt, and and then I started like following people, like uh, like there's this guy Dan Pena, really fucking great guy. Uh, he calls himself he calls himself the trillion dollar man because he's a, a, a coach and you know all, all of his mentees like they've added to, to amount of trillion dollar in deals that they've done or their net worth and like the the information I got out from him is like he, he said he has this great fucking code that he says or that his mom used to tell him he's like you know hang around with dogs and you'll catch fleas <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one yeah, it's, it's <laughs> my mom would have said you catch piojos <laughs> yeah, yeah man. and 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 that, that, that's true man like you gotta change you know the people you're around with and if you wanna be better you gotta hang out with people who who, who are trying to make themselves better and, and the one thing I learned that rich people do like I always have this mentality like man fucking rich people they just wanna hold you down right that was the poor person mentality right but then I realized the way rich people make money they, they're great communicators they help people because you gotta have a team you can't do this right yeah so, in order for them to grow, you gotta help people around you grow as well. Right. Yeah. And you know that was one one of the big things I learned. I was like, oh, okay. So I, I I it's not just about me. It's those around me as well. Right. Yeah. And you know, maybe not right now, but ten years, fifteen, twenty years, you might have have a friend that you helped out at the beginning. That's gonna come back later to help you out. Right. So you know you're setting up these these relationships in the beginning. Yeah, you know, it's so funny. Um, I was, uh, <clears throat> there was like this uh, thing that Elon Musk said uh, not long ago. Well, actually, I think it was a long time ago. Where he's like, instead of having like baby showers, you know, like bringing like gifts and like money and stuff. Like, yeah. you should have um, uh, like business showers. Right. Where like, you know, like Supported. all your family members, like they come and like they contribute, like, you know, to, to like invest in your business. Right. Um, help you it, buy a chair because like dude these chairs like <laughs> when I was when I was looking them uh, online I was like you know I, I thought they're I, I was gonna find them cheap and I was like fuck these chairs are expensive they're like 150 200 dollars each oh yeah, yeah I was like, oh, and shit. that's like the cheaper end yeah, too yeah right yeah and I was like holy shit like I didn't know so much money went into this and like you said you know like <laughs> maybe that would be the a best better alternative doing the like Elon Musk said, uh, business showers. Like, come in, can Just you buy me a chair, man? <laughs> <laughs> like office supplies. Yeah. He's like, hey, what are you missing? Those little things add up, you know, staples, uh, cables. I don't right. Know. But then the the parents are gonna be like, well, my kid needs stuff. Well, I, I don't know, man. But <laughs> <laughs> is it your son or is daughter, it? or is it your business? What do you what? Right. right. But no, I I think it's just uh, yeah, it's ju- it's just mentality, like the way you perceive things versus like the value of like your work and your time versus like the value of like the money yeah. right so if you spend like 10 hours of like backbreaking labor and you get paid 200 bucks like what what's more valuable like your 10 hours of like just like really like hard work right or is it like uh like two hundred dollars that you know you if you don't have like a good spending habit you're just gonna blow it like in one night right. like at the bar or whatever yeah right definitely. and then you're like crap i spent a hundred bucks yep. now you're only da- you're now you're down a hundred bucks yeah. and you're like fuck now i gotta work 10 more hours right. right so i mean if if you are you know able to responsibly spend that money maybe in two days you're not gonna have well i mean like okay like you get paid mo- by monthly or monthly right so you're not gonna be looking at 200 bucks you're probably gonna be looking at i don't know what two grand yeah, yeah I, don't, right. I don't know what's a month depending on what type of job you have right right but yeah, I, don't, I don't really think it depends on the type of job you have i think it depends on the 
like spending behavior and then like can, can you right so is can you are you able to save your money rather than like buying that new car right I mean, you have a car, yeah, like that's an save, example. Also, also, you know, you know, in, invest. Right, right. So, but again, it goes back to the mentality. Like, it, it could either be, well, are you educated in in something that you're not taught at school, mm-hmm. right? Because this is kind of like a self taught sort of thing, right? Where so you gotta seek out. You, you're right. You gotta seek the information, um, because in high school, in, you know, it's just school in general. Like they, they don't teach you this. They don't, um, they don't teach you they, well, they taxes. Teach you, what they teach you in high school. Is, work for somebody right and so you know and it's it's really interesting how you have business schools um that if you go to they'll teach you you know like taxes and like business related uh stuff but if you Uh, all right take two (laughs) take two Uh, sorry Uh, about the blackout guys (laughs) um, (laughs) so yeah invest your money (laughs) no Uh, where do we leave off? <laughs> there. At, at, um, so we left off where we don't get taught in school like how to manage our money, like how to invest, you know, how to carry out our financials um, um, activity, you know, coming in high school, like through college. Like you don't learn it mm-hmm. unless you go into like economy and, Yo, and I, stuff I, like that. Even then, I, I think I, I, I don't even know. And I took econ and I don't remember and I, I, anything about that. Yeah, so... I mean, I'm, I'm, oh, fine, let's move it up. Maybe if you go to business school. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you, if you go to business school or, or you know, tax prep, you know, right. certifications or something like that, then you probably learn some so, sort of uh, financial, you know, education. But other than that, like, we're not taught that in school, right? Like, like we're not even taught, like, when we should apply for taxes, right? Mm-hmm. All we know is, like, if you work uh, in... And you make you know a certain amount of money, like okay, you're required to like file, but um, kind of like having to know like all the little details of like what gets what can be deductible and like what right. can't, right? Like I, I think that's I think that should be part of like the general yeah, education in like in the systems, but I guess they don't find any value in that. Yeah, like for me, like like I said in school, they never taught anything about the stock market. My parents, you know, they're they're immigrants and they never learned any of that. They, I mean, they didn't even get get to high school. Both of my parents, so you know, you you're already at a disadvantage. Right. But uh, you know, just because you're at a disadvantage doesn't mean you can't make it. You like I said, you have got to put in the effort. You got to you got to seek it. If, if, right. If it's not yeah. there, you got to find a way and seek it. And and if you can't seek it, then sometimes you just got to create flat out create it yourself, man. Yeah. Be an innovator. Yeah. And yeah, um, that that's um, that's definitely something that I think that's what we're seeing now with like the newer generation. Yeah, like like I feel like they're just becoming like entrepreneurs and like the smallest thing that you didn't know it could be in, it could be like yeah, profitable and like especially you know? with the internet, you know, there, there's so many possibilities. Uh, whether it be YouTube or like there's this little little kid. Uh, I I can't remember. My, my niece, she watches them. But, oh, the know, little uh, toy reviewer? The toy reviewer, Dude, yes. he made like six million. 30 million, 30 million <laughs> yeah. a year. It's like reviewing toys. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm going to rent out little kids and just <laughs> play something from the camera and be like, I'll give you like a 10% cut. Be yeah, like, man. They're going to be like, that's not enough. It, it, it's crazy, but, you know, there's so many opportunities now that, that weren't available back then. And you got to learn how to adapt. And uh, like I said, though, it, it goes back to that mentality that we're raised with and and like for example for the the stock market like I said I didn't know nothing about the stock market my parents never were in it and when I got it started started studying it myself you know at first I lost money and then I found out like your losses you can deduct them like I think it's up to like th- I'm, I'm not a yeah, expert I'm not licensed so like I said do, <laughs> do this check your, your info yourself but uh I think it's uh, you can deduct up to three thousand dollars in losses per year. I think and, so. Something and, like that. And then uh, if it's over, <laughs> it's if it's over that, you know, like let's say you lost eight thousand dollars, so you can only deduct, deduct three thousand that year, but that that difference, that five thousand difference, you can roll it over to the next year. So if you lost money, huh. 
I don't or, know that. Or if you gain money next year, and you got to pay taxes on that, you got to let's say you got to pay five thousand dollars in taxes the next year because oh, you, you did good. You can use that difference to oh, to balance it off. And oh, they don't teach you this in school. Yeah, they, no. No, <laughs> those are important yeah. lessons. Yeah, I mean, I started looking into like the stock market also, um, just recently, and yeah. I'm like, hmm, like where's? See, that's funny because <clears throat> going into it, like then you start kind of like picking and choosing because now you have like your fast growth, um, it like you know um, stocks versus like your uh, high dividend stocks, right? And then you have like the you know I forgot what to call them, like where. Yeah, I, I forgot the other one, the other, uh, the, but it's, it's a lot, it's, it's just a lot, yeah, and, a lot uh, so, so yeah, I was just like, hmm, you know, like, I don't really necessarily know a lot of it, a lot about it, but, uh, just by looking into, like, you know, like, the information and kind of reading up on it, I was like, I think it's time to get on this, yeah, you know, and it's so funny, because I'm gonna, like, change the topic, like, yesterday, I saw your, uh, something to the moon, Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what I did, oh, I, going, to the, moon. going yeah. to the moon, right? So this Japanese, right? Japanese guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So uh, MZ. MZ, but so I, I don't know. I it just came out because I saw his post on uh, on what was Facebook? Yeah, yeah, Facebook. And so I was like, well, what is this? So you know, the first thing I did was I looked it up. This guy, I read a, I, I read about him. I was because yeah. all I, I all I saw was your post that you registered to go to the moon, right? Right. Looking for eight. Um, I'll be in the moon 2023, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Eight lucky uh, uh, citizens, citizens of the world, yeah. right? Because it's like uh, worldwide participants. And so the first thing I did, I was like, okay, where did this guy get this information from? So I, I dug up all the info, right? right? And it, took, it didn't take long. It took like, what, like two minutes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really and, <laughs> um, and I fucking registered. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did it too. Yeah. Right now, right? Hey, we might be in that same ship, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I think it... it uh, shifting back to the to the you know investment and stuff it, it's like you sometimes you really like if you want to learn something like you really have to seek it um, and, and now there's so much information out on like Google and like YouTube that it's just a matter of like typing in what you want to learn yeah you know